Hello everybody and welcome back to season 27 of the Pokemon NASCAR series. Today we're here at Circuit Spa Franco Champs for the running of the Gran Turismo Sport 175. It is one of the longest road courses on the circuit and continues World Tour 27. It is 4.31 miles. So it's going to be a very enduring race for all 40 of these cars today. On the pole is Angel Navarro in the 83 and Sydney Orchard is going to start on the front row. Paul Barber, the 42's teammate, starts also in row 2 and Kermika Jazzin starts in 4th. There's Joseph Romanek, Anthony Lopez in row 3. Johnny Garner and Sam Rogers run row 4. Rogers was our winner last race at Baton Gas. Annie Thomas and Zachary Fitzwater will round out your top 10. Let's not waste any time. Let's take you down to the command to fire up the engines as we continue World Tour 27 here in Belgium. Cars roll off the track, and this track is known to be one of the toughest tracks, if not the toughest road course on the schedule. It's a lot of elevation changes, a lot of tough turns, and you're going to see a lot of beating and banging here today. And turn one is going to be chaotic for sure. Turn one has always been chaotic on the very first lap, so we'll see how these drivers are able to keep it together in turn one, if they're able to keep it together. If you guys, if you have seen my previous races in Spa, you you know how much Turn One is really chaotic when we start the race. So we might see something a little bit different, or pretty much the same in Turn One on the first lap, first race, or maybe we could be surprised. But anyway, 12 laps, a dozen laps here around Spa Franco Champs. The green flag is about is is out now here in Spa. Here comes turn 1. Oh, wow. Orkert spins and the 20 flips upside down. How weird is that? Look at all these cars pile up on the first lap. Not surprising how chaotic it is. Unbelievable. Kermika Jazzin flips on the first turn. I think it's the first time. I think I've. I think this is the first time. I see a I think this is the first time I see a driver flip. On the very first lap of the race. How weird is that? Oh my gosh. This is just insane. What an insane start to the race. Wow. Just, just wow. I cannot believe this. It looks like Navarro has survived as the leader, but with some major damage from that. So we got that first lap chaos out of the way here in Spa Franco Champs, which is typical. Now Orchard is getting bumped. Like she's getting bumped left and right. Third place battle here with Joseph Romanuk and Sam Rogers. They're going to go side by side. Looks like Rogers might have the edge. Rogers has the chance of going for another win. It would be back to back wins and road courses, which would be an amazing start for the 31. And he's done well. Oh, he's getting bumped into the sand. He's going to lose it in the sand. Romanek has the edge now. It was only a matter of time before somebody had to lose that race.
Let's see if Paul Barber will have the chance to pass the 83 on the first lap. Final S's, here we go. Racing back, and looks like Navarro is just going to hold him off. Navarro holds on to the lead. We're going back to green soon. Really, really crazy first lap that was. Pichu's out. Who else is out? Nobody else is out. Wow, Jazzin stays in the race. Yeah, Jazzin stays in the race. After she, after she flipped, they stay in the race. And they're going to pit. Navarro obvious, obviously with major damage had a pit from the back. So now he's been into the back of the pack. Back to the green flag. And the leader is Paul Barber in turn one. Not as bad as it was before. But looks like turn one is not going to be as bad as, as, yep, not as bad as it was before. It wasn't as bad as it was before, thank goodness. Paul Barber leads and Romanuk now runs second. And there's the 31 in third place. Fourth place is Dylan Thoreau, and fifth is Anthony Lopez. Oh, wow, the 16 is a little loose there on the grass. Got a little loose in the sand, I should say. 46 is going to go down. The 24 makes the pass on the 55 of Luke Walker. Well, ever since lap one, though, things have been pretty close. Pretty calm. Question is, though, will the 23 have a chance to make a pass on the 1 here in this tough course? And Barber has worked his way up. <laughs> wow, he just pulls away a bit now. Wow, I just have nothing to say in this race. Man, hasn't been as fun as it used to be. It's been pretty lame now. And now the 4 gets by. Got a position away. Turn one. Here we go again. Down. Here we go. We saw how chaotic it was in the first lap. It was calm on the fourth. We'll see in the fifth. Not much changes in the fifth. Ooh, a hit. Fifth, 14 got a hit there. Nobody else got hit. There was a little debris there. Other than that, though, everybody was able to stay alive. Romanek has pulled a little closer on Paul Barber, though. Hasn't been a really good season for Chip Ganassi. A win is much needed. Oh, wait. It has been an okay season, I should say. Orchard has been the one that got the team's only win this season. Paul Barber is just trying to follow in her footsteps now. Having both cars win at least one race. Joseph Romanek, he's had a win earlier in the season, so he's had a pretty good run. So has Sam Rogers. The role has been pretty close, but has never won this season. So this could be his chance to break into the spotlight. And Anthony Lopez runs fifth. Only one win for the um, Furniture Row cars, and it came in the 78. Lawler. <coughs> Excuse me. Jacob Lawler is gone the team's only victory so the 78 77 has yet to win a pokemon nascar race the new 77 team has yet to win um any pokemon nascar race and furniture row has only had uh two wins in two seasons and they would love to break out of this streak here to here today here comes romanak he's on the bumper of paul barber question is will he make his move now is he going to do it? Is he going to make his move? Not quite there yet. Not quite going to make his move just yet. Turn one, though, is an opportunity for these guys to catch up to the pack. The 
These guys able to get through the wall um, unscathed. They're gonna go uphill as we head down. As we have seven laps to go here at Spa Franco Champs. Looks like Annie Thomas might have a pass on the 77. This one's for fifth place. Here we go, down the big turn. Can the four make the pass on the 77? Not quite. Or maybe she might have a chance right here. Not yet there. Wasn't. It's not there yet. Got to be a little patient with making a pass on here at this track and um, wow Thoreau fourth place right now he's on the bumper of Sam Rogers trying to get third place away so far nobody's making the move to the front and they're probably saving it all for last Couple cars on pit road. Lombard came out of pit road already, so bad day for Lombard. He was caught up in the pileup in the first lap of the race. One caution today here at Spa, which is unnormal, not normal, because we've seen wrecks happen here left and right at this exact particular track, but improvements have been made so that there was not much wrecks as it was before. But maybe this does need a little tinkering sometimes, I'll admit. But it's a much needed clean race from this track. They finally got to experience it all in full speed. And got to experience what this track really has. Six to go. We reach the halfway point. Paul Barber continues to dominate the race. We head to turn one. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get damaged from turn one. Oh, look at the seven. Wow, look at... Did you see how these cars just bump right, right, right? Look at this. Look at how the cars just bump. My gosh, the cars just like... Yeah, you just saw how the cars had to bump through to get through turn one, right? Weird. Uh. Annie Thomas and John Andrews battle it out. Oh, Andrews gets too high. One slip up and it could cost you. Seems that Romanek is just close on the one machine, but just can't pull it off. Just can't pull off the pass he needs to get there. It's just been a frustrating day for Romanek, and he's hoping for an opportunity, any opportunity at this point, to get that lead away. Oh boy, it looks like that Barber got a little bit of a run there on that corner. Oh no, he didn't get a run off the turn, and the 23 did. Now he's a little too aggressive, and now it's back to normal. Wow, they seem that they're trying to gain ground, but they can't do it. Coming into five laps to go here at Spa. Looks like there might be pit stops ahead. And there will be pit stops. Leaders are going to pit right now. Romanek stays out. A couple cars going to stay out for the screen flag period. So now the pit strategy, now the pit stops are underway here at Spa Franco Champs. And that should make this field interesting. Romanek finally does have his lead. Seeing how it's, it's, it takes a long time to get into pit road, I wonder what strategy they'll use. Like the pit stalls are separated in two at this track. One on the low, one run, one side is downhill, the other side is uphill. They all exit out, out uphill though, but still it depends. It's a very long 
pit road, pit entrance. Very long to get on the pit road into your stall. If you have off the lower side, you might have a disadvantage when coming in. But at the same time, you could come out. They all have to follow the speed limit too. So Paul Barber is out first. Barber stays out, gets comes out of pit road first. So wonder if that'll affect him in any. That probably won't affect how he uh, leads if the pit stops cycle out. But even then, it'll be tough to it'll be tough to gain ground. It'll be a very tough running to gain ground, by the way, on after taking the pit stop because, well, it's very long. First of all, the track is very the track is very long, and with the pit road speed, it's very tough. So you might want to pit late, better late than never, at this track. Who's going to pit now? Everybody. Everybody's going to pit right here. We don't know who's going to stay out. Anybody going to stay out in this position? Nope. So far, nobody's staying. So we have one half taking pit stop early. The other half taking the pit stops later. The one's that are taking it later might have an advantage because they're still ahead of the other drivers that are that pitted and that could decide who wins this race so we're going to keep our eyes on the leader right now in the 23 going to take that lead so Romanek stays as your leader but it just depends on if he's going to come out as the leader or the others are going to catch up he is out. They're out of pit road. Caution's out. Three to go. Wow. The caution comes out when they pit. That is just weird. It looked like the crash happened here. Wasn't much fun, by the way. Not as fun as I thought it would be, but it was pretty tame. Oh, well, Gordon was very slow and he... Wow, it was a tussle between teammates. There was a teammate tussle between both front row cars. I don't know what went wrong on Gordon. He just stopped and then... Wow, no, Shear was the one that slowed down. And then Gordon got right into him and spun him out. Are you kidding? Teammate tussle. Here comes Barber. They're not going to catch Romanok. They're not going to catch these two. Will they catch up those two in time? It doesn't look like they're going to. I think Romanok has his win in the bag. Unless if he messes up. Barber was able to get second from Thoreau. But I think that might be it. I think Romanok has this race won. Unless if he screws up, they'll race it back. And I don't think they'll get back under green with three to go under the yellow. It hasn't been much of a fun race anyway. So there was some excitement at the end. Barber gaining on the 23. This is going to be interesting if he's going to pass. Here he comes. Can he get him? Side by side a line. Bumper to bumper. Down the turn. Barber gets by. Paul Barber gets his lead back. Just in time. The fresher tires pay off. Paul Barber has done it. He's passed through Romanek on fresher tires. It's going to lead him to a victory, maybe. We don't know. At least Romanek, though, was able to survive in second. But man, was it a battle to the end. At least it ended with a battle to the very end here at Spa Franco Champs on an otherwise boring race. But well, you can't you can't win every can't win them all. They're gonna keep Barber with the lead with two to go. Gordon Shearer are done and so are Pichu. I'm surprised only three cars retired from this race after the first lap chaos. 
And Jasmine survived even though she flipped on that first lap. She was able to still race on the lead lap. Impressive. Oh, I see some cars dropping on fuel. Oh, no, I don't. Don't think so. I think they were separate for whatever reason. I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. This race is already over. Paul Barber is going to finally get his victory for Chip Ganassi. He's going to come off the final turn, and he's going to win the Gran Turismo Sport 175 here at Spa Franco Champs. Paul Barber now joins his teammate Sidney Orkert in, in in the winner's list here in season 27. So both Chip Ganassi cars have one, one win this season. And Paul Barber has one in car number one here at Spa. It turned out to be the best pitch strategy he could take. He had fresher tires and that brought him up to the victory here at Spa. 29 races in the books. We only have a few left actually. Very shocking. This season's gone by. Next race will be our 30th race of season 27. We look at the field, and that's it here from Spa. Biker Necky's coming up next. And no victory lane celebration. They never do at this track for whatever reason, but, ah, well, at least it was a good race either way. Biker Necky, though, will be our next race, so hope you'll join us. We will see you at Latvia for the Biker Necky race here at World Tour 27. See you guys later.